Hi folks. So just for kicks, I am going to show you a, a simple technique for using a machine learning method to generate new sequences of MIDI notes. I think this is a fun way of starting to understand how machine learning actually works in terms of pattern recognition and probabilities. So let's get started. So open up Max, go up to uh, File, the File menu, and choose Show Package Manager. Okay. And I'll drag that over. So the Package Manager has access to all of these external packages uh, because there's lots of really cool things that Max can do that can extend the functionality, maybe that don't want to come with the download of the original Max program that you install. Um, but you can go to this package manager and you can download these things that can augment the functionality of Max. So I'll go to my search bar and type in ml.star, ml.star by Benjamin D. Smith. Go ahead and click on that, and I've already installed it, so you should have an install button. Go ahead and install it, and then once it's installed, your launch button will come up. Click on launch, and you should get a window with any of these packages that helps explain what, how to use the package and gives you links to other, to start using it. So in this uh, window, you can see bunches of max messages, ML.scale, ML.HMM, which is a hidden Markov model. There's bunches of complicated things in here that we're not going to touch. We are going to click on ML.Markov. Open up that patch. Okay. And it looks like this. So the f let me zoom in here so that we can a little closer. All right. So we see uh, this message here with a bunch of notes in a sequence. This is actually the pitches to uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. No, I'm sorry, it's, um, well, let's listen to it. Oh yeah, dun 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 Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, sorry. So those, those are the pitches. And I'm, I'm clicking on them, which sends them into this Markov object down here. And then I'm going to click Build the Model. Okay? And building the model is running through the initial data set, which is ju literally just these numbers. And it's looking at which number comes next. So what are the differences between each different pitch value? And that's all it's doing. And then we're going to generate new sequences by using the same probability model that this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star has. So you're going to notice that it sounds a little bit like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's not. Let's listen. Okay, uh, and just to point out, again, this is only pitches. This is not rhythms at all. So we just have a metro that's uh, sending bangs into the Markov object to then create pitches. So this is kind of, you know, it's kind of a silly way of generating note sequences, but I think it's very interesting to use this as a model to understand how a machine learning model, which, of which there are many, might look at an existing thing and look for patterns within that thing, either connections, differences between the first note to the next note to the next note is what's happening here. It's not exactly the same as other types of algorithms that you've heard of, but it's similar. It's a similar type of pattern recognition and use of probabilities. I'll show you one more thing. And so I'm going to click on this MIDI files tab up here. And again, zoom in. I edited mine, so I added in our MIDI template program changer so I can change the instrument. Uh, in here, we are reading in an existing MIDI file. So I'm going to click Read. This is a prelude that came with ML Star. I'm going to click Start so we can hear it. That's not a piano. Okay, and then 
then stop. So I just read all of those notes into here, and I'm going to build a model and then generate new sequences. So everything that you just heard is the only thing that's in the model so far, because that's the only thing that I actually read through directly into the Markov. And one thing you'll notice is that it's very similar, right? Because this uh, part of the prelude that we listen to is very repetitive, okay? And so the, the Markov model is recognizing, oh, that th this is a strong probability that this note follows this note, et cetera. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play it really fast. I'm gonna read the entire file into my object here and then build a model based on the entire file. So this might be loud. That was every single note, super, super, super fast. Now I'm gonna build a model. And now when I generate new sequences, it's gonna sound different because we have the rest of the song in here. Okay, I'm assuming this is a Bach prelude, but I actually don't know for sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and so you can hear that it sounds like the original, but it's not the original. And this is what machine learning, generative machine learning algorithms can do really well, is to take inputs and generate something that's similar, but not the same. Okay, I hope this, oh, 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 I know. If you wanna read in your own file, you can click read and you can choose a file, preferably that has only one melody to it, okay? So previously I exported the vocals of the song Africa, and uh, maybe you wanna hear what that sounds like. This is, I'm just playing it in the background. In case any of you haven't heard that song or needed a reminder. So I just have the vocals, I read that file in. I'm going to play it really, 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 really fast. And now, okay, and now I'm going to generate sequences, again, based on only the pitches of that melody. Oops, sorry. I forgot to build the model. Build the model, then click the button. Okay, so this sounds pretty silly with just repetitive piano notes, but I think you could start to hear the da 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 in there, and parts of that melody which are big jumps and blending the verse and the chorus together. Okay, so that was fun. I hope that uh, you enjoy this and you can actually use this um, in the work that you are doing. Take care.